Hey, my friends, it's Big Stu here. Just want to say a big thank you for hanging out with me once again for another unboxing video. Uh, today we'll be doing Geek Fuel from February. But first, my shirt. Our last video was Primal Loot Crate for March. And this is Winston from Overwatch. And it says Primal Rage. And backing up so you can kind of see it. And... This is his face, the gorilla, and it says Primal Rage. It's a very comfortable shirt. I did our last video, we did two loot crates, and it was from March's Primal Rage, then it was from Buildable February's, and I think I rated them 6.5 to 7.5. Was not a big fan of them, those two boxes, so we'll see. Um, speaking of loot crate, the new April box. It's going to have a Batman item in it, and the theme is Detective Investigation, I believe it is, Investigation. And I think there might be some X-Files, some different things in there. But it's going to determine, I'm going to try to find out what the Batman item is, because I might just skip that month, because I've already talked about before that I was going to try to cut back. I like to do skip every other month between Geek Fuel and, uh, and Loot Crate. Get one or the other. I want to go to... Uh, three every other month boxes and then only one monthly box um in there so i want to cut back a little bit on my boxes for a while um so it just depends what that batman is if it's a great batman item then i'll be getting that and then i'll probably skip the geek fuel for april we're just wait and see this is a good time for for subscription boxes just so you know especially going in sorry i have a niche especially going into the uh, spring, summer, because there's so many cool movies, summer blockbuster movies, superhero movies, sci-fi movies, and things that they're going to tie into their boxes so easily. And uh, so they always, you know, will do that. There's always items from these movies and everything. So that's always makes it, you know, fun time to subscribe is best during the summertime, I feel like, because there's so much they draw from, so many different things you get. Anyway, so let's get my Joker. Okay. Let's get a knife and let's open this up. I do not remember the whole theme to this box. Like I said, I'm behind. And this is, I got marches coming in um, soon. And uh, box towards the end of the month. And I haven't even opened up my... I've done a video on my February box. I had a lot coming in. That's why I'm trying to slow things down and cut back on some of my boxes and everything. Because it's no fun to have boxes stacked up waiting. You know, I really don't need more than three or four boxes a month. Because then I'm, you know, getting behind on videos and everything. I like to do just one a week. Plus, it's more affordable. I can spend money on other things, um, on Legos and so forth. My other hobby and pops, as you can tell, are all around the room around me okay so geek fuel trying to remember i'm not even going to pretend i don't even remember what they said was in this box so let's open it up of course it always has nice paper that's kind of nice and open it up and now i remember one item because i recognize this thing from the shirt one of the items was fallout and this is a fallout t-shirt so, let's see. I like the color. I do not have anything. Here's the Fallout, Fallout Boy thumb sign, thumb up sign on the back. You can see that. And then it says Nuke World Amusements. So it has the dog, wearing glasses, Nuke World Amusements, and it's dropping bombs. So this is a very comfortable t-shirt. Actually, it's very soft. I like this t-shirt. Um, I played Fallout once, and it was too big for me. You know, my son spent like almost 100 hours doing everything on it. To me, it was too overwhelming. It was too much. Really, as far as video games go, once in a while, I'll play, out, I'll play uh, the earlier games of... Uh, this is a very soft t-shirt. Very soft um, shirt. Um, I like the uh, Black Ops. 
Call of Duty, some of the earlier Call of Duties, I've not liked the last two Call of Duties. I do not like the future warfare stuff. I like more modern warfare. And then I liked, enjoyed the Black Ops stuff as far as um, shooter games. So I get my shooter fix, first person shooter fix that way. And then the rest of the stuff I do is just Lego games, Lego Star Wars, Lego superheroes. I really like those, Lego Dimensions. And, uh, and so if I get tired of being building and breaking things apart, uh, exploring with the Lego stuff, then I want to be a little bit more violent. Then I just pull out an older Call of Duty game. But again, I like this shirt a lot. Not something I necessarily would have picked for myself, but I like the color. I don't have anything this color. And, and I don't mind the picture of the dog. I'll put that over here on the side. And uh, so I'm happy with the shirt. Okay, this is our book. We'll wait. Kind of going to put it here. Bend this down. Okay, let's do the pen. They always do a funny pen. And uh, this is Stranger, Stranger Things. And this is based off then. This is their pen from Netflix series, Stranger Things. And, uh, and it talks about there's a rare 500, and then there's an upside down one that was uh, rare. I do like their pins. I like the little Fuely pin, and I like that very much. And uh, again, if you've seen Stranger Things, you kind of can see what the variant looks. And then they don't even show you what the super rare variant is. Maybe it's inside here, Will. But anyways, I do enjoy their pins. And I like the idea that they're all, you know, I haven't decided what to do yet. My other pins I'm going to put in a frame and hang up. This, you almost don't want to rip it off the cardboard, but it gives you like an action figure feel cardboard, a retro style. Then it looks like I have a a poster in here. Property of Bruce. Is this Bruce Wayne? Because there's a, a clown that could be like a little Joker. It says Wham. I bet you this is supposed to be like young Batman. Maybe. I haven't gotten any posters before except for the ones from Nerdblock that were like art prints and they were just horrible. So let's see what this is. Okay, I have a certificate of authenticity saying that it's authentic. Okay. Okay, it is. It's like a young version of Batman. And it spells wham and his blocks, pow. It says Arkham toy box. I guess you got like a little penguin, a joker. There's a black cat, I guess, for Catwoman. And it's like supposed to be a little baby Batman or baby Bruce Wayne. It looks like in his hand he has a little yellow bat uh, battering in his hand. It's cute. Uh, maybe I'll frame it because it's a Batman theme and all. Uh, kind of different. I'll put this back in here. I guess it's a good size considering the size of the box. So it's long. Just makes me nervous that they ship something like this that could have easily gotten messed up. But it doesn't look like it's messed up except I'll have to lay it down flat to keep it staying down flat. Or else I'll have to frame it. So I guess this box is just kind of decorative and to protect it. Kind of interesting. Okay, lay this over here. Okay, next thing I got this. It's a Zelda thing, so we'll look at that in a moment. And then I got Archibald's Adventure downloadable Steam game, a $5 value game. And uh, I'm not familiar, but I'll let my son check it out. My son always likes, um, he buys a lot of stuff. On Steam, and he uh, plays a lot of different 
indie games, smaller games and things. So he will definitely appreciate that. And let's see what this is. The Power of the Sword Portable Charger. Geek Fuel Exclusive. And this is going to be Zelda. It just looks like it. Interesting. Okay, we got a sword. Like a 16-bit sword. Wow, it's thick. And it's one of these chargers. Um, portable chargers. So, I charge this up. And, and it's a battery charger. And it's full. And then I keep it with me. Man, it's heavy. <laughs> keep it with me. And then when my phone dies, I can hook this into my phone and this will charge up my phone when I'm not near a power outlet and everything. So good for little trips or whatever, for fun. I'm not 100% sure if I'll keep it. It's really kind of bulky to, you know, hang on to you. If I have it in my car, I got my car charger. But it's kind of cool to have. I'm not a huge Zelda fan, but... It is kind of cool as far as it goes. It would have been cooler if it was like a Captain America shield or something like that. Charger, I've seen those before. Iron Man, I think, helmet as a charger. But, man, it's heavy and it is thick as far as that goes. So, it's a unique item and it's a cool item. So, I won't complain too much about that. It is something most likely I will trade. So, as I'm looking at the shirt, let's see. I got the sword. I got the poster. I got the pen, I got the Steam game, card game, and I got the t-shirt. So I got five, five items this month. And this is our card. And it talks about, let's see if I can get that closer. It talks about the different items. And this is what the shirt, the men's shirt and the women's shirt look like. And all. Oh, I see there was a variant Batman. There was a Dark Knight more black costume. And there was the old style limited blue. And I got the darker regular version and all. Which I'm pretty sure I did. Now I'm looking back on it and making sure did I get the variant or the regular? And look at that at once more time. I think I got the darker version, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I got the regular version and not the variant. Anyways, so I'll put that over here. Um, let me move this out of the way. I'm not super thrilled, to be honest, about the Geek Fuel. I've been very, very excited over all the different Geek Fuel stuff. I do know that next month's Geek Field is going to have a Guardians of the Galaxy Rocket and Groot t-shirt. So I'm going to be very excited about that because I love Rocket um, as far as Guardians of the Galaxy. So I know we're getting that in there. I don't know what else we're getting in the Geek Fuel box. And because uh, I was going to skip Geek Fuel for March. And then I realized I found out that it has the Rocket Raccoon. It's like a silhouette Within a silhouette shirt, from what I understand, has the larger picture, has a, a rocket on top of Big Groot. Then apparently there's a smaller silhouette inside of that picture that has Baby Groot on top of the shoulder, a rocket raccoon, like a role reversal as far as size goes um, and everything. So I love Guardians of the Galaxy, so it'll be cool to have that shirt. And, uh, and I'll obviously be able to wear that when I go to Free Comic Book Day and go see the movie on that day in May. Um, I think I would rate this just for what I like and what I collect. I mean, the t-shirt is nice. I like the color of the t-shirt and the design. But the t-shirt is the only thing real. I mean, I'll keep the pen, of course. But, you know, there's nothing in this box I could live with. If I'd known about every item in this box, I would have uh, skipped for that month. I'm not a Zelda fan. I love Stranger Things. Uh, season 2, a plug, doesn't come out until October on Netflix. But I love Season 1 of Stranger Things. Um, so the pin was kind of cool. I'm not really interested in playing this, this Steam game. I know my son will enjoy it. But I'm just going to rate this mediocre. Um, I'll probably just rate this a 
a four or five. And I've not been really happy because my loot crates, my last video, my loot crates, they only gave a six uh, point five to a seven point five, and to me that was being kind of generous and kind because there was just some things I knew I could turn around and trade. Uh, this here, I'll keep the shirt and I'll trade the sword, but there's not much. I feel like I kind of lost some value as far as I paid, I think, $22 for this box, maybe $23 maybe for this box. And really the only thing I'm going to get out of it of any re value is the shirt. So I'm not really thrilled about this. Luckily, I'm excited about next month's shirt. Um, hopefully there'll be some other decent things. But I feel like this Geek Fuel kind of burned me, and I wish I knew more what was coming in this Geek Fuel, so I could have uh, avoided ordering it. Again, that's the risk that happens sometimes when you have a mixed genre of themes and everything. And as far as next month's with Guardians of the Galaxy, I don't know what the whole theme is. Um, with it or any other items. I just know of that one shirt and for me that'll be worth the $23 just to get that shirt and hopefully there'll be some other things that I want to keep in there. I like my boxes, my Funko boxes. I like to keep everything. If it's perfect for me to keep everything, then that is ideal for me to spend $31 and keep all five, six items in the Funko boxes and not want to trade those. I'm not looking to trade anything out of my Funko boxes, my Star Wars, my DC, and my Marvel. These other boxes to help pay for them and so forth, I don't mind keeping half for myself and trading the other half to kind of pay for it and uh, and all. But I just don't feel like, you know, there's enough here that I could really trade this stuff off for to, uh, you know, even get my cost back on this. And... Uh, I ordered a larger size shirt for myself because I'm a big stew. So, you know, unless somebody at, at the comic store wants it for themselves, usually I don't trade my shirts. Um, and then, you know, sometimes I'll give them away to friends or somebody. Um, but in the other items, you know, they probably would be interested. I understand there's probably not as much in this. One, two, three, four. There's not as much of this, I guess, because this is really heavy. And these things are going to be expensive. $20 or so. But anyways, so I'm going to rate this and give this um, just a five, maybe a four. Let's give it a 4.5. And also I'm hoping next month is going to be a lot better. So um, thanks for hanging out with me and uh, catch you later. Big Stew out. Thank you, my friends. Have a, uh, a great day. Bye.